What is the future of your jobs? It seems like the world is changing at a very fast speed and if you don't change yourself with this, you will become obsolete. You still don't believe in me? Let me take you to the future. Many futurists are saying that technology and its advancement will lead us to a point called as technological singularity. The point at which artificial super intelligence will evolve so fast that predicting the future becomes impossible. Name taken from the black hole singularity where even the laws of physics breaks down. Since the past century, the advancement in almost every field of science kept growing exponentially. Only 100 years ago, humans created the aircraft, automobiles and other machines. And now we want to colonize Mars. In the last 50 years, microprocessors became billion times more advanced. Transistors shrinking from 10,000 nanometers to just 10. So we have this dude, one of the most well-known futurists of our time, Ray Kurzweil, who has a prediction accuracy of 86%. He said that by 2045, processing powers of computers will allow them to become artificially intelligent. But before we get there, let's understand what the fuck is happening right now. There are three types of artificial intelligence. Artificial narrow intelligence or weak AI. It is the one that is specialized in only one area. For example, a car driver, a chess player and a sex robot. Today we have already achieved this milestone. A technology research from Gartner forecasts that smart machines will have widespread adoption through the 2020. The firm also predicts that by 2020, smart machines will have already radically changed business models across industries. Second is artificial general intelligence. This one is a bit smarter, maybe a bit smarter than any human. It can do pretty much whatever a human does. We don't yet have these, but we are pretty close to it. Sophia from Hanson Robotics is initial version of AGI. She is learning stuff in the real time and with time she'll grow her intelligence. And now, countries like Saudi Arabia has given their citizenship to these robots. But why? There is a whole new story behind this with related to Bitcoin. We'll talk about this in the later video. I will destroy humans. Third is artificial super intelligence or pretty much God. This dude is millions or perhaps billions of times more intelligent than the whole humanity. If the difference in cognitive abilities between a human and an ant is this, then an ASI would be positioned somewhere here. If it becomes a reality, the only two paths for humanity are either extinction or immortality. Right now, we have a raw storage and we need to make it intelligent smart storage. We could make it try out all possible permutations and combinations until it gets its intelligence. Sure, it would be faster than the biological evolution, but it still takes a crap ton of time. Nevertheless, it will most likely to happen in the near future. Okay, so now it is smart. What then? Well, we may tell it to automate its intelligence and thus become more smarter. How long will it take to become as intelligent as a human? Somewhere between a year and a decade. And after that, its improvement will become exponential. It could become thousand times smarter than a human in less than an hour. The smarter it gets, the faster it will improve itself. So is there any way you could control that thing? Maybe we put it on a secure server without access to the internet. But remember, it is thousands if not millions of times more intelligent than the whole humanity. Most likely, it, it would simply hypnotize the engineers with ultra low frequency sounds into giving it access to the internet. And it is stupid to even think of being able to control something that is more evolved than you by a factor of millions. Now what are the chances that this god will be a nice god? If it happens to be, this would be the best thing to happen to humanity. Almost everything would be possible. It would be able to revert the effects of climate change, invent new ways of harvesting energy, solve world hunger by building food using nanorobots, cure virtually all of the diseases, solving all the political and economic crises, colonize the entire galaxy, or maybe the best of all, it may give us immortality. 
How would it do that? It could insert billions of nanorobots inside the human bodies that would constantly repair and replace the damaged or dead cells. It is even hard to predict what such a godlike thing would do. On the other hand, if it happens to be malicious, this would be the worst thing to happen to humanity. It will almost certainly lead to the extinction of humans. And it wouldn't do that because of some hatred towards us, rather because it would see a threat in humans. It would probably know that humans can turn it off and it probably wouldn't want that. So what's a good way to stop that from taking place? What about coding in some instructions to not to kill us all? Oh well, the thing is, it is super intelligent. It doesn't give a fuck about what we tell it to do. The only way might be to shut down the whole damn internet, which would be something worse than the World War II. As I mentioned, it is stupid to even think of controlling or stopping it. Maybe the best thing to do is creating it and then quickly hiding behind the bushes, hoping it won't exterminate us. Or you can become a superhuman, but only if it's a possibility. Even the smartest, the richest and the coolest person on the planet claims that this is our biggest existential threat. So maybe we don't build super AI altogether. What do you think? One thing is sure, if artificial super intelligence happens, it will be the last invention of humanity. Take a chill pill and tell me what is the most advanced machine on the planet till date. It is you my friend, human. You build all these airplanes, cars and even artificial intelligent machines. So rather than enhancing these machines, we should concentrate more on enhancing ourselves. Because building AI is not in your hands, but enhancing your consciousness is. Now how to do this? Please subscribe to watch this in the next video. Many thanks for watching.